Hi everyone, welcome back to Spark and Wonder. We have been going through our series on second grade curriculum picks. If you wanna see those topics that we've already covered, check that link down below for the playlist. And today we are covering science and social studies. So let's dive right in, shall we? Diving right in, I have yet another of the Evan Moore Skill Sharpeners Geography. Uh, if you're wondering how many of these suckers do they make, um, I can show you back here. Here are all the ones that they make. Focus, please. Thank you. So they have one for spelling, reading, math, science, critical thinking, and geography. They have books for pre-K through sixth grade. Um, I really feel like the information is appropriate and on level and kind of covering a base level topic. I don't think that it is like enough like on its own for some of the stuff, but it does work as a great beefy supplement or like a piece of curriculum, like a subject matter that is like in a sub subject, if you will. So like not like one book won't cover all of language arts, but sp the spelling and writing can cover spelling just fine, um, at least at a low level. If your child needs like fast paced and intense, it's not gonna last you the year. Um, this is really, but the geography, I really kind of feel like it's this good standalone beefy kind of covers everything that a first grade or a kinder, second grader needs to know. Um, like in the other workbooks you've seen throughout the series, when you see the pencil markings, that's because that's for me and my planning. Um, these are the topics that are covered for the year. And um, it, like, like you can see, um, it covers up, it, it generally goes and covers quite a bit of, of topics and really in a nice, good way. Um, there is an answer key in the back. Um, one thing I like about the Skill Sharpener series is that each unit is kind of color coded. So each unit is kind of like color, like a certain color, like certain color. Um, so we really like that. And, um, it's a really good supplement. Last year I tried just using the, um, textbook and felt that the textbook alone was a little weak when it came to geography. So we will be giving this a shot this year. We will be um reviewing it throughout the year i'll let you know what we think about it right now we really like it and my daughter is super excited to go for it moving on to our actual textbook for the year we will be doing the sequel to last year's textbook i found this i actually found this one before i found the purple one from first grade um this and the teacher book together were five bucks at a consignment sale how could i pass it up um it is a little dated there is like a couple places where i will have to update her like it shows that it, there's like one lesson that talks about the um oh, the supreme court justices and obviously when we go to cover that i'm gonna have to here it is ha -ha. i'm gonna obviously have to like update it because uh well i'm pretty sure some of these people are dead So yeah, I'm gonna have to update that, but that kind of makes it nice. Um, it kind of makes for a good topic and um, I have a feeling uh, Supreme Court's gonna be in the news a lot lately this year and that'll be good an opportunity to teach her stuff uh, and like kind of tie it to current events. Um, it's just a standard textbook. It ties in literature to some topics and like covers people around the world the reading in here is geared towards a second grade reading level and so it makes it really nice for being able to integrate her into the reading process and kind of start to get her on that process of learning how to read for the sake of learning which i feel is an important task um as for the teacher book because i'm sure there's going to be some that are curious about it um I wouldn't buy this on its own. There's not enough resources in here for me to make, like, to spend 20, 30, 40 bucks on it. Um, 
I don't know if these tabs are in here naturally or if these tabs were in here from the person who used it last. Um, on the planning, they, it does come with a planning chart which covers the different themes that are covered in each lesson. Uh, it has a time management for you to follow if you choose. I can't remember if I fully used this or not. I don't know that I did. I kind of just like half used it. Um, it goes off the vocabulary used for each lesson. And so there are some helpful things in here. Um, but again, it's nothing earth shattering. Um, the Multimedia Resource Center page is what really kind of um, was like the best resource for me out of here that I might go back to use. Um, each one has a category of like books, um, easy, average, and challenging books for a child to read and engage in the topic from the unit. Um, my husband and I cracked up laughing when we pulled this out because again, this is a used textbook. It's dated. Um, this kind of shows how dated it is that it lists audio cassettes and floppy disks. Um, that in and of itself became a history lesson for my daughter because she didn't know what either of them were. You're welcome for feeling old just there. I felt old too. Um, also, she also did, had no idea what VHS tapes were. I don't know if any of those VHS and audio cassettes um, are still floating around. Um, there are so, some um, CD-ROM stuff that I might try to find online i know some of these older stuff that you can like find online and they're so low grade now you can just download them for free these days so i might try to do that um the rest of it is there's a couple pages for like making it in for a classroom setting and assessment options which we will ignore um if you want this the tests um the test answers are in here but we did not get the test book. You'd probably have to track that down yourself as a separate piece. Um, and then the rest of the unit, there's not much here on the side to like really like guide with the um, reading. Um, most about it is just kind of reading through this. There is like a couple pieces here or there. Nothing that I would see like I would use a whole lot of. Um, I might throughout the year try to use it. I might not. Um, this, um, I do like having like my own book. So if I want her to try to read it and I can read it too. Um, but the way we kind of do read aloud stuff is that we kind of make it a snuggle reading time to make reading a positive adventure for her. Um, so that is the social studies textbook. Let's dive next into the science textbook. This is the science textbook we went with for the year. It is the sequel to the science book we used for first grade. It is a state edition for Georgia. It's the one we found on eBay. We don't particularly mind it being Georgia because we spend a lot of time in Georgia and we have family in Georgia that we go and visit a lot. And so um the the only part about it being georgia is that it highlights throughout the book and different space at the beginning of each unit bits that science in georgia and it brings like applies things to um places around the state of georgia which is kind of nice because we can incur like we can incorporate some of these like places and to field trips throughout the year. Um, last year, we happened to be making a field trip to Atlanta to vi visit my mother and to go to the Atlanta Symphony Orchestra. And the highlight the week that we were doing that happened to be about the Atlanta Symphony Orchestra and sound and how it applies to sound and how this, the orchestra works with sound. And it really made a nice little tie in for all of it. And so for that regard, we really liked it. Um, when I have investigated on whether or not the science is out of date or not, nothing that I can see is really out of date. There might be one or two bits that need some like attention, but that's about it. Um, it's a pretty basic book. Again, like the social studies book. Um, oh, hey, look, somebody wrote in this one. I'll have to erase that. Um, the... Uh, um, the, the words in here are written in such a way that for a second grader to be able to read and follow along. And that is like a good way to like kind of incorporate with her to kind of get her to do it too. 
Moving on, this next piece, I do not have a link for you. I do not have a way of telling you how to get your hands on it yourself because I've been trying to get my hands on some of the other grade levels and I just can't. Um, when I was working towards my teaching degree, I spent some time working in the Junior Achievement Program, which is a national program that sends volunteers into classrooms to teach about economics to um, great smaller children. And this happens to be one of the kits left over from teaching that has everything I need to teach the second grade economics. And I had leftovers because my class wasn't as big as the amount of materials that they gave me. And so I have about four or five sets of leftovers in here, which means that there is enough that I can do the curriculum with my daughter. And again, if you know of anybody who can get your hands on the junior achievement curriculum please let me know um there is some stuff in here um i think somewhere oh again this was another history lesson opportunity it came with a cassette tape and my daughter had no idea what this was and so um that was kind of funny um i don't know how we'll listen to this um, we're going to have to get creative. I may still have a cassette player. Somebody I know may have a cassette player. We'll see when we get there. I don't have to deal with this until the end of the year, so we'll see. Um, but it's lots of bright, fun things. Here's the teacher's guide that tells you, like, kind of gives you a script word for word and how to, like, go about teaching things. It is really, really easy in my first year of classes. I was still able to like do it and it has stickers and fun different things to go forth and it's really just bright and colorful and engaging and it's my daughter's looking forward to doing it um, and again i wish i knew how to do it i there are some parts of it that i will have trouble with because again it's for a classroom and we're a classroom of one and it has like voting and obviously when you're a class of one you don't really have a way of voting um, so I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to handle some of that, but we will conquer that when we get to it. Um, I have two of these because I volunteered twice. I have this and I have fourth grade. So we'll do it in second and we'll do it in fourth. If I can find first grade or first grade and third grade and third fourth and fourth and fifth, I will definitely use them, but I have no idea how to get your hands on it. I have email junior achievement i have texted them their website gives off nothing i don't know um so that's it for the main curriculum the last thing i have to show you is some supplement so the last thing i have for you is some supplement books and some fun read aloud stories that kind of go along and with and fit into the social studies some of these you might see throughout the year in my story time with spark and wonder um, series that I am kicking off here very soon. We have three of them here. We have We the Kids, Illustrations and Forward by David Cutro. And it is basically the preamble of, to the United Constitution of the United States. I feel like this is a really good way of introducing the um, constitution of the united states to kids and i feel like it's something that really needs to be taught lately because some politicians seem to be ignoring it um and it really kind of brings it down and like with illustrations and bright visuals that allow a child to like really engage with the story again this one is we the kids illustrations and forward by david Cutro. this next one is god bless america it's point blank it is the song god bless america um but with like illustrations and i feel like it's kind of a fun one for patriotism and it's kind of a fun way to teach a song to my daughter that I feel like every kid should know at some point um this last one's a really neat one it's by betsy and gil Gulil Maestro. It's called The Story of the Statue of Liberty. And it is basically a history and a story of how the Statue of Liberty got made and where it came from and how it came to be and why it was created. 
Um, and so it was a really good, it's a really good find. Um, that is it for the social studies and science curriculum picks. If you enjoy these uh, this series and you are curious to see what else we have picked for second grade, please click that playlist down below to follow along and see what else we've picked for the other subjects. I post new things on every Wednesday and occasionally you will find bonus videos on Fridays. Uh, thanks for watching everybody. I will see you next time.